Mowing or otherwise defoliating Californian thistle several times during its growing season, October through March, over several consecutive seasons, is well known to reduce the density of this thistle in pasture. Knowing the biological basis for this effect helps us make best use of defoliation. Mowing reduces the numbers of shoots in a Californian thistle population over time, and hence also the size of the weed problem, because 1. The number of shoots that emerge from the soil each spring depends directly upon the mass of creeping root that overwintered. 2. The latter depends on how much root was produced during the growing season. 3. This is a direct function of the surface area of foliage that accumulated during the growing season. This accumulated foliage is, in scientific terms, the photosynthetic opportunity and is measured as shoot biomass duration. The more this is reduced, by mowing, the less root can be formed before the onset of winter. 4. Another important fact is that these creeping roots last little more than 12 months. This means that a Californian thistle population in a pasture is totally dependent upon the new roots it makes each year. There is no refilling or multiple season persistence of old roots. These are myths. These relationships mean that a Californian thistle population can be substantially reduced by a two-year defoliation program with three defoliations to ground level in November, January and February each year and virtually eliminated by a four-year program. But recent research funded by Beef and Lamb New Zealand and conducted by Ag Research has demonstrated that mowing is even more effective when conducted during wet weather. Some farmers had previously reported this effect. Field trials on farms around New Zealand have shown that mowing is, on average, 30% more effective when done during wet weather rather than dry weather. The scientific hypothesis for this greater effect of wet weather mowing is the promotion of disease in the thistle caused by one or more naturally occurring pathogenic microbes. A likely candidate is the vascular wilt fungus, Verticillium dahlia. It has been found in a recent survey funded by Beef and Lamb New Zealand to be very common on Californian thistle throughout New Zealand. Further experimentation demonstrated that the spores of this fungus can be easily transferred to the cut stems of California thistle on a wet blade to cause a vascular wilt disease seen in the naturally infected plants. This disease blocks the thistle's water conducting vessels, xylem, causing wilting and poor shoot growth, leading to reduced production of roots and possible eventual death of infected shoots and roots. The message for pastoral farmers with a Californian thistle problem is, mowing is effective, but even better when done in the rain.